Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know, I am Melissa. I'm a registered dietitian and yeah, this is my channel. I normally talk about food and nutrition on here, but today we are doing a favorites video. I'm sorry if I sound all stuffed up. It's because I am. Cold has invaded my body and I can't breathe or talk or hear anything, but that's okay. We're gonna push through it and uh, get into some things that I have been loving lately. So starting with beauty products, first favorite is the lipstick I'm wearing right now and it is the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip in Fight Free, Fight Free Reticles. <laughs> That's cute. So this is like honestly like my perfect red color. I love the color of it. It reminds me a lot of the color of my Sephora um, cream matte lip stain in 01 which I can't find anywhere. So this is a nice little um, replacement. The only thing about this that I don't like is it is not transfer proof. Like you can see, oh my dogs want to come in. One second. Anyways. So you can see it does transfer, but I did just notice that it says it's a velvet finish and not a matte finish. So I guess that makes sense, but it looks matte. It just does transfer a little if you're like drinking something or kissing somebody or something. <laughs> Barney has a cold too. Um, but it's a really great color and it does stay on for a really long time. Um, and it's really comfortable to wear as well. So definitely recommend that. Another thing that I am wearing on my face, even though you probably can't tell, um, is this Burt's Bees blush. It is in the color Bear Peach. And yeah, I just really like it. <laughs> I had seen a bunch of people talk about the Burt's Bees blushes, so I wanted to try it. And this is the color I went with because it looked like the most prettiest I don't know um but I really like it it's a nice kind of like natural color it's a matte finish um and yeah really nice and then the final beauty product is another Burt's Bees product and this is their lipstick I guess it's called in nude rain and this is a glossy finish one I just really like this it's kind of the perfect like everyday color um it's a glossy finish so it doesn't um it's not like super pigmented but you can definitely tell you have something on but it's not really something you have to like worry about and it's a very natural um like peachy color um and i really like it i kind of want to try some other colors my first food favorite is perfect bars i love these bars <laughs> So they're just protein bars. They're actually in the refrigerated section. It took me a really long time to find them. I feel like I've always seen them on Instagram and then I could never find them at the grocery store. It's because they're in the refrigerated section by the yogurt. But they're just protein bars that have like no preservatives or anything weird in them. Um, I've only tried three flavors. This is the peanut butter flavor. My favorite is the peanut butter chocolate chip flavor. I also tried the dark chocolate almond one and I just didn't really like it for some reason. But the peanut butter flavored ones anyways, literally taste like peanut butter cookie dough. They're so good. You do have to be careful because they are um, pretty high calorie. Like one bar is 330 calories. So I have to be at work at 6.30 in the morning on Wednesdays. So a lot of times I will eat one of these on my way to work or right when I get to work. And then, so that'll be my breakfast. And then I'll have like a yogurt around like 9 a.m. or something like that. Kind of like the majority of a breakfast, I guess, or a light breakfast or whatever. Um, but they are very, very tasty. And they also have 17 grams of protein and they're gluten-free and organic and non-GMO. Wow. Um, another huge favorite of mine this month or last couple months, whatever, has been Hungry Harvest. So I think I talked about the produce box a while ago, but I decided to try other produce delivery services and I tried Hungry Harvest and I really, really like it. It is cheaper than the produce box. Not that the produce box isn't great, but I like that Hungry Harvest is cheaper. And it's basically rescued produce. So um, Hungry Harvest takes produce that would normally be thrown out from like grocery stores and things like that. Maybe things are too big, too small, have like spots on them or just are like weird shapes or something. Um, and that's what you get. So 
I get the mini veggie box because I, I eat a smoothie in the morning every morning so I don't really need that much more fruit. It's really vegetables that I need. Um, so I get the veggie box which is all veggies obviously and I think it's $17.99 and I get it every other week and it pretty much lasts me for two weeks um, every once in a while I'll have to buy something else but that is the majority of my vegetables for those two weeks and there's a ton of stuff in it I have taken a couple of pictures when I've gotten them so I'll insert them um, but yeah I've really been liking it it's a good price you are helping fight food waste and honestly the majority of the stuff if you didn't know better you wouldn't be able to tell that there was anything wrong with it so I think it's really cool and you should try it and I think I actually have a link um, where you can get five dollars off your first box so I will link that below if I can find it um, my final food favorite has actually been my crock pot which I've had for years and probably a lot of people have crock pots but I've been using it more lately since I started my new job I have to bring lunch to work um, whereas normally I would have lunch at home after work or something so I've been making like a big batch of something in the crock pot at the beginning of the week um, Last week I made a taco soup. The week before that I think I made like an unstuffed cabbage soup. For that I made some chicken and I make huge batches. So like the last two soups I've made, I've ended up freezing half of it. So then it lasts me for two weeks. So it's been saving me time and money, making some delicious food. Um, and yeah, I just love my crock pot. On to my random favorites. I feel like I have a lot of things in this category this time around. I have two music favorites. Neither of them are new. They're kind of like rediscoveries. And the first one is um, Sufjan Stevens, who I've loved for years and I just hadn't listened to his music in a while. Um, but he sings slash wrote a lot of the songs in Call Me By Your Name, which again, I love so much <laughs> and I still love so much. Talked about it last time. But yeah, his music is just so comforting and uplifting and but also sad sometimes and like I don't know it's just so nice if you haven't listened to his music I really encourage you to it's really good music <laughs> I don't know how else to describe music but anyways I hadn't listened to him listened to him in a while and seeing call me by your name made me want to listen to him all the time so I have been the other one is the Avert Brothers who are one of my all-time favorite bands but um, I kind of go through phases and I hadn't listened to them in quite a while and then their documentary came out on HBO which if you like the Avert Brothers I definitely recommend you watch. It was a really good documentary and so yeah now I've been listening to them nonstop. and uh, again their music is really great. If you haven't seen them in concert I highly encourage you to if you have the chance. It's really one of probably gonna be one of the best concerts you'll ever see um, and honestly the Avert Brothers have I think some of the best lyrics out there out of anybody so if you like lyrics I don't know um anyways yeah so I've been loving the Ader Brothers as well I guess we can talk about podcasts while we're on the topic of listening to things um there's two nutrition podcasts I've actually been really enjoying lately the first I did mention in the nutrition podcast that you should listen to which I'll link wherever and that is the nourishing women podcast um, it's two integrative dietitians. They focus a lot on um, intuitive eating, body positivity, um, healing your body through food, things like that. And I've just been really enjoying it. It's one of those podcasts where I've been going back and listening to old ones um, to like try to catch up and they have really great information. And yeah, I've been really enjoying that. And the other one is another one called the Three Aminos podcast. And again, it's a nutrition one. It's three dietitians who just talk about topics in nutrition um, in a very easy to understand way. They kind of debunk myths or talk about kind of popular topics. I'm currently listening to one about Tom Brady's diet. They had one about um, what the health, health at every size, those sorts of things. So that's a really good one too if you are just kind of interested in general nutrition. In terms of true crime podcasts, I have been loving the new season of Someone Knows Something, even though I feel like it was really short. Was it only like five episodes or something? The case is really interesting, I guess. I feel weird saying it's interesting, but it is, it's really good. Uh, 
warning, there is a 911 call in the first episode that honestly made me a little bit sick to my stomach. So if that is not for you, maybe skip through that part. Um, I think they do put a warning on there. But the case is really interesting. And again, everyone's Canadian and someone knows something and they're all so nice and Canadian. So um, the other one is another kind of rediscovery, which is Generation Y. I used to listen to it and then I stopped for some reason, but I have been listening to it again and really enjoying it. The guys on it are kind of like dad jokey, like they're not my favorite hosts, but they do dive really well into the cases. Um, if you don't know, Generation Y does do a different case every week, so it's um, like a new new case every week, <laughs> what I just said. But so they do dive pretty well into it, they kind of tell um, both perspectives, if it is someone that was accused but maybe people don't think did it, that sort of thing. So yeah, that's been a really interesting one I've been enjoying as well. Let's switch topics quickly and talk about a home item I have been loving. I moved houses in December, I think. We just got this for the bathroom maybe a month ago and I have been loving it. It's this, if you can't see it, it's a bunch of butts. It is, um properly called butts. You can buy it on Society6 I think is where I bought it. I'll link it below if I can find it. But I just think it's so cute and um, yeah so that's hanging in our bathroom and I think it's perfect. Finally there are three TV shows I've been really enjoying. The first is a show called Somebody Feed Phil. I don't know if I talked about his other show like last year in my favorite sometime but it's Phil Rosenthal. He's the creator of Everybody Loves Raymond. You can so tell that. He's just this like awkward New Jersey like I don't know. He's so funny and so sweet and um he travels around and eats which is literally my dream job. Like I have said even before I got into nutrition my dream job is to just go to different countries and try their food and that is what he does. And it's so good. He talks to chefs. He talks to um, like families. He tries street food. He tries fancy restaurants. And it's just really good. If you're a food person or a travel person, you'll love it. Somebody Feed Phil, it's on Netflix. The other Netflix show I have been loving is the new Queer Eye. I didn't watch Queer Eye when it was on before, but it is so good. <laughs> you have to watch it. But it's just basically five gay guys who go make over these other men. And it sounds stupid, but it's so good. I've cried in every single episode. <laughs> um, because they're, they're like making over not only these people's appearance, but they're, I don't know, they're like changing their confidence and like they actually delve into some really deep topics about like accepting people, accepting yourself, and I don't know. It's really, really good, and you should really watch it. And finally, my final TV favorite and final favorite of everything is The West Wing, which I recently started watching. I know it's really old, and I've been meaning to watch it for a really long time, but I'm watching it now, and I really like it. Um, we're, I think, mid-season three right now, and it's really good. <laughs> it took a little bit to get into it because there's so many characters so it takes a while to get to know them but once you do it's really great and it's such a smart show. It's funny, it's emotional. Great show so if you've been meaning to watch it, watch it, do it. Um, Yeah, I think that's it. I feel like this was long but also that I talked really fast. I don't know. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know some of the things that you have been enjoying down below. Let me know what other nutrition related videos you would like me to do. And yeah, I think that's it. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you next week. Bye.